Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aisha Ansari and I'm here to discuss about the prematurity awareness. November being the month of prematurity awareness and 17th November is recognized as the prematurity awareness day. Thus what we need to understand first is what is a preterm birth. A typical pregnancy lasts for about 40 weeks. Preterm labor is the labor that starts before 37 weeks of pregnancy. Going into preterm labor does not automatically mean that a woman will have a preterm birth, but preterm labor needs medical attention right away. Preterm birth is the birth of the baby before 37 weeks of gestation. India ranks number one in the preterm birth across the globe. Around 11.1 to 16.1 percent of all the birth, approximately one in ten births, are preterm births. Thus, very, it's very important to understand who are the patient at risk of preterm birth. Many women who have preterm birth have no known risk factors and some risk factors include the following. It includes the medical, past medical history like the past preterm birth, short cervix which is measured during a transvaginal ultrasound examination, then early cervical dilatation, then measured during the pelvic examination, and past procedures on the cervix and injury during a past delivery. Pregnancy complication includes carrying more than one fetus, vaginal bleeding during the pregnancy and infections during the pregnancy. Lifestyle factors include low pre-pregnancy weight, then smoking during the pregnancy and dietary deficiency. And other, other factors include the younger than 70 or older than 35 years of age. Thus, a pregnant woman needs, all the pregnant woman needs to understand the warning signs of preterm labor so that they can take necessary steps. Thus, warning signs <coughs> include mild abdominal cramps with or without diarrhea, a change in the type of the vaginal discharge, watery, bloody or with mucus, an increase in the amount of discharge, then pelvic or lower abdominal pressure, then constant, low, dull back ache, and regular or frequent contractions or uterine tightening, often painless, and ruptured membrane, that is your water breaks with a gush or a trickle of fluid. Thus, we need to know how do we manage a preterm labor. Preterm labor should be managed based on what is best for your health and the health of the fetus. If the fetus would benefit from a delay in the delivery, then medications may be given. To help the organs mature more quickly, reduce the risk of certain complications, attempt to delay delivery for a short time, and medicines to maintain uterine relaxation, to delay the delivery, giving more time for the fetus to mature. There are, there are certain complications of preterm birth. Complications of the preterm labor include deliv delivering a preterm baby. This can pose a number of health concerns for your baby such as certain short-term complications like low birth weight, breathing difficulty, underdeveloped organs and vision problem. And certain long-term complications include the higher risk of developing cerebral palsy which is a disorder of nervous system that affects movement, posture and coordination. This disorder is present since birth and learning difficulties and behavioral problems. Thus, what should a woman do if they are experiencing a preterm labor? If you are experiencing any signs and symptoms of preterm labor, do not wait. Call the office of your doctor right away and go to the hospital immediately. Thank you. Thank you.